Hey guys, Craig with JS Racing Products. Got a little how-to video for you here today. Probably wondering what all this stuff has to do with anything on my table here. Well, let me tell you what's going on here. As some of you know, we're in the middle of our, well, I shouldn't say the middle, we're at the end of our parts truck series. And um, due to the way things ended up being ran, even with the electric fans and the upper hose, all that, we weren't able to run air filters on these turbos. Well, it's not a big deal for me. I don't do a lot of dirt track racing or anything, but it is nice to keep things from getting sucked in there. I've, I've already damaged turbos in the past from having something as dumb as a header wrap come loose, get trailing along and in there, and the next thing you know, everything's destroyed. So it is nice to stop leaves and, you know, big debris from going through there. So I got searching around on the internet, and sure enough, on eBay and on some certain websites, I found screens. They were awesome looking. Um, different gate, different gaps for, you know, I guess different power levels. Um, and a nice boot and a clamp. So I got to looking at them and they were just ridiculously priced. Uh, Fifty some dollars was the price for these things. I contacted the uh, company owner who, owned, who uh, was selling them and I asked him, I said, you know, What's up with these screens being 50 some bucks? I said, that's some, I know it's not window screen, it's some good quality stainless, different gauges, but you know, we're still talking like 30 cents worth of screen. Uh, a silicone or some other composite type clamp, a band around it, and a clamp. And uh, I said, I don't think that's, you know, a fair price for these things. Um, I could probably have a guy in China pound these out for a buck a piece if I order a thousand of them. Well, his response was, oh, you don't understand uh, what, what a business, what it is to be in business for yourself and, you know, patents. And he gave me this story and I said, listen, I do understand. I said, the reason I started JS Racing Products is because I got tired of being ripped off by guys like you. And I got tired of seeing other people get ripped off by guys like you. And I've decided to bridge the gap between affordable and quality. It used to be you had to pick one or the other. And I told him, I said, so um, I guess what I'm going to do is order the parts to build my own, show people how to build them. So that's what I'm doing. I was able to get this screen here. It looks like it's enough to make a bunch. I actually went with a pretty decently gauged gap, so it shouldn't cut back the airflow too much. You don't want to go much smaller than this. I know it doesn't trap a lot, but this is a, a 564 stainless, one foot by three foot. Got it from Summit Magazine or Summit website. I, I can't remember what I paid for it, but it wasn't much. Maybe. 12 bucks, 20 bucks, something like that. I don't know, but there's enough to make a bunch. I then dug around, because yeah, I mean, you could technically just do the screen and a clamp. You know, what's this, uh, the most, two bucks? Right there you go, cut it out, screen and a clamp, and you got a couple dollars. But, if you wanna get fancy like him, I just dug around through my stuff here and found these boots that fit, the th uh, fit over the turbo. Get this out of the way. See these slide over that. And it's just a, like a silicone material. I can actually cut this one down the center. And that'll give me enough to do two of them. That'll be just about, a, just about an inch for each one. And that kind of goes over the, over the edge of the screen before you put the clamp on. just looks nicer. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to show you guys how to build these screens. You can order your different your gauge that you want. You can go bigger gauge. You can go smaller gauge. I wouldn't recommend smaller than this. Um, you wouldn't think that a small screen gauge like your window has would really hold back power, but boy does it ever. It holds it back a ton. So uh, what I've done is I just, I found this old turbo house, and you can just use your, your turbo, you know, for your size. But I found this old one, so it's the same. And I just dug around and tried to find some round objects that are just bigger. And this ends up fitting right down in that groove, so that means it's just about that much bigger. It's not greatly bigger. That'll be perfect. So I'm going to trim out two circles of that size. And uh, I'll pick up the video then showing you what I've done from there to make my own screens to replace the 50 some dollar ones for a few dollars each. Stay tuned. Okay guys, so step one's done. I've gone ahead and used my tin snips and trimmed out a circle. Uh, then like I started to hold it in place and just with my finger started to fold the edges over. Uh, you don't have to worry about folding them over all the way because you can let this clamp do that job for you. So now I'm going to go ahead and put the camera down, get the clamp to just about where it barely slides over, and then using the right size socket, 
it's easier than a screwdriver just to put a socket on there and uh, this is the electric impact gun run it down tight to squish that screen in and then that'll be crimped perfect and then uh, we'll go ahead and trim these in half and slide that over and clamp it down and we'll show you screen done pick up in a minute using my uh, impact gun here and a bit I just carefully walked that screen down and as you see it looks really good uh, over here if I wasn't going to do any rubber I'd just do a trimming right there and you wouldn't even see any screen and that actually looks nice just like that but we're going to get a little fancier and uh, we're going to go ahead and put the rubber over top yet so I'm going to carefully slice this down the center so it matches. so there's two equal pieces because I have twin turbos back this clamp back off slide that over and clamp her down and show you the finished product hey guys so there I went ahead and cut the uh, silicone piece in half Here's one half of it. And just slid it down around there. It was a nice, real tight fit. Barely, you know, just had to squeeze her around. Now that that's on there, we'll go ahead and put this clamp on. Hold on a second here. Oh, I know. I suck with the camera. You guys tell me all the time. Hold on here. There we go. Done product. No 50 some dollars. Build it yourself. Look at that. That's awesome. Good size screen, good gauge. You know, we'll see how that works on the dyno. Definitely will keep anything but the you know, smallest dirt out. Just sometimes that's the only option you have. Uh, there's not even room here to do turns or anything. Uh, what I could have done to avoid this was planned ahead and, you know, move the turbos back a little bit more. Maybe at least enough room to do a 90. But, you know, it is what it is. Um, I love the design, and the screens will work great. I, I actually, on the last couple cars, didn't run an air filter at all and had no problems. You just We changed the oil so much anyway in these things because of the, you know, um, alcohol injection or the richness from being under boost at the track. We don't, we don't let them go high mileage between changes anyway. And uh, any dirt that gets in gets in the filters to begin with. So, all right, that's it. How to build your own turbo screen for uh, a few bucks. Like I said, they're on eBay and other places. Go check them out. It's see 50 some dollars. Um, that's stainless, good, good quality screen. Here's uh, it's All Star Performance, part number 22260. 564th is the gap. And it's one uh, foot by three foot. I have enough of this screen to make a bunch of these. I don't have enough silicone couplers, but um, this will probably end up, I'll make one for both sides on the truck, and I'll have enough left over if I want to do any down the road. Okay, guys, hope you enjoyed the video. Save you some big bucks. I mean, hell, I have less than $56 in all this, and I'm making two. So even if I only could make two, I saved. Talk to you later. Bye. Closing shot. Literally, I put the camera down. Uh, this one, you know, took me a few minutes to build because of the fact I was filming everything. Put the camera down, pounded this one out, timed it. I had this one done and on the car in less than two minutes. Of course, I already had the silicone to cut, so that saved some time. But literally, tin snipped out the screen, traced it, tin snipped it out, bend it around the edges, boom, on the car, done. How to build your own screens in a few minutes. For about a tenth of the price. Finished. Enjoy the video guys.